This is a tutorial video on how to pair your Aeon Labs multi-sensor to your Ross 3001 system. What we have here for the demonstration is a Ross 3001. We have an Aeon Labs controller. We have an Aeon Labs multi-sensor. And we have an iPad running the 8.3 version of the Ross companion app, which can be found in Apple's App Store or the Google Play Store. So the first thing we'd like to do is establish that this device has not been paired before. If it has been paired before, please refer to the unpair video to find out how to unpair your device. I'm going to go to the drop down menu from the application. I'm going to click on Ross Home. I'm then going to click on Devices. You'll notice that there is one symbol under controllers because the Aeon Labs controller is into the Ross 3001 and nothing else. You'll notice, I want you to notice how this changes once we go ahead and actually pair the device to the controller. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the multi-sensor. So I'm just going to flip it like, turn it like this and open it. I'll set it back down. I'm then going to remove the, the Aeon Labs controller from the Ross 3001. I'm going to press it one time just like this. It's going to start flashing slowly. That means it's in pair mode. If I have any Z-Wave device, I can pair it to it once it's in this mode. If you look on the multi-sensor, you'll notice a black button right here on the top. If I go ahead and click that button, you'll notice the controller flashed three times fast. That means the device is now paired to the controller. I'm going to take my controller and I'm going to put it back into the Ross 3001. And I'm going to go ahead and close my multi-sensor. Immediately, a new device popped up onto the application and it's in a configuring state. It's going to take about probably two to three minutes for the device to fully configure with the system. Once it does, that configuring tab is going to change to sensor, meaning that there's a sensor paired to the system. So we'll just go ahead and wait for that to happen and then I'll go ahead and show you how to rename the device if you'd like to. And again, just for memory, if you want to know how to get back to this page, from the drop down menu you go to Ross Home. You then click on device down here, and you'll see all the devices here. It's still configuring. As mentioned, it takes about two to three minutes for, for it to configure fully. Right now, you'll notice that the Configuring term changed to sensors and there's one device down here. It says device number four. I'm going to go ahead and click on that device number four icon. You'll notice that a side menu popped up. On the side menu, there's a tiny bar that says name with an arrow pointing to the side. If I go ahead and click on that arrow, I can then go and rename the device. So right now it's named device four. We're going to go ahead and rename that. There's a tiny grayed out X on the side. If you click on that X, it'll basically erase everything that was named there before. We'll go ahead and call this multi-sensor. I hit return and I click on the opposite arrow under motion sensor and now my device is named motion sensor. Very simple, right?